ni a very interesting chapter ambayo iliandikwa na David na hivi ndio wanasema Psalms atenda uh, tuumbio kwa sababu tutasoma the whole chapter so tuweza tukisoma mbio inasema verse 1 oh god you are my god ali will i seek you my soul thirsts for you my flesh longs for you in a dry and dusty land where no water is verse 2 you see power, you see to see your power and glory so i have seen you in the sanctuary because your loving kindness is better than life my lips shall praise you thus i will bless thus will i bless you while i live i will lift my hands in your name my soul shall be satisfied as with as with marrow and fatness and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips when i remember upon my bed and meditate on you in the night in, in the night watches because you have been my help Therefore in the shadows of your wings will I rejoice for my soul follows hard after you your right hand upholds me verse 9 but those who seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of this earth of the earth and they shall fall by the sword they shall be a portion for foxes to malizie but the king shall rejoice in God everyone who swears by him shall glory but the mouth of them who speak lies shall be stopped na hiyo ndo neno la Mungu tuweze kuomba father we thank you for your word that you have given us today how we pray that may you help us to have a great understanding of this message and even after understanding your word we may be able to put it into action and that king of kings your word will manifest into each and every person in this building and those who are viewing us are viewing us live on facebook we thank you and we bless you for it is in jesus name we pray Amen amen tunaweza keti chini Title yetu ya leo ni In the wilderness Rudia tu nyuma yangu sema in the wilderness Na mbona title tumepewa in the wilderness Number one, history ya hii Psalms 63 The writer David aliandika akiwa in the wilderness. Na obvious tunajua wakati uko in the wilderness haufai kusema the things David amesema. Ukisoma hizi without understanding utadhani the life of David is okay. But in this part ako in the wilderness na hakuna fun in the wilderness. But in all this wakati alikuwa ana meditate how the flesh kwa sababu kama saizi kuna joto na kwa joto kuna kitu mmoja inatuaffect sisi zote q ukweli na saizi one of the booming business ni watu wa watermelon watu wa mananasi na watu wenye anauza maji kwa sababu it's a sh- na watu wa ice cream pia at the same time watu saizi business yao zina boom kwa sababu wakati the temperature is so high kama saizi what your body needs is something to cool it down and so david alikuwa na meditate of how the flesh in a react na akaanzia kui compare na the spirit so akasema if the flesh can be in this position ya ku thirst for water then my heart inafai kwe in a position ya ku thirst for god Bwana asifiwe. Many of us to go in the house of God singing praises worship listening to the word but not thirsty for God. Ndiyo kama mnajua kitu kaa hiyo. In fact, ukitaka kujua you are sick spiritually before hata ni mention hiyo. Physically ukitaka kujua hauko okay ama wewe ni mgonjwa, kuna one thing inakuanga in common, appetite. Haujisikia ngi kukula? Sijui ni ugonjwa gani unakulanga una lakini ugonjwa mingi zenye mimi najua number one thing ya kujua you are not okay ni ya ukulangi Bwana asifiwe so spiritually still inakuanga hivyo ukitaka kujua you are spiritually sick 
the first thing utajua ni your prayer life how jiski kuomba when it comes to reading the word how jiski kusoma when it comes to praising how jiski ni kufanya vitu kama hizo you might be coming to church but unakuwa spiritually sick na unaweza kuwa in the house of god but not thirsty for him na so the reason why David alikuwa so closer to God even after alikuwa na make some big messes ni kwa sababu the thirst for God in David's life ilikuwa mingi sana na the bible inasema when you seek the face of God what happens you will find him Bwana asifiwe and uh, so David akasema as my flesh craves I'm a thirst for water so does my spirit thirst for him na ndo maana wakati alikuwa in that wilderness ali shift focus ya kenye mwili inataka akaanza ku focus na kenye spirit inataka na ndo a focus kenye spirit inataka lazima angeanza kusema these kinds of words na ndo maana nimesema ukisoma this scripture with underst- without understanding utadhani David ako in the palace speaking these things but David anaongea these things in the wilderness why am i saying this because pia sisi tunafaa to develop that culture culture ya ku Praise Mungu na ku make things seem okay even though tuko kwa wilderness. Bwana asifiwe. Na tumejipata tuko in a place ama tumejipata ama tuko ama utakuwa hiyo ni sure. Tunafaa tuko tukijua hivyo. Unajua um najua tupendangi bad things happening to us, ukweli? But ukiwa ready ukijua tunafuat kwa wale people tuko ready tukijua bad things will come but the difference between us na wenye hawajaokoka ni when bad things happens to us victory is already guaranteed and so tuko tumaiji pata in a place of luck sasa swali inakuja hapa how do you behave in the place of luck ama sasa nitayaka in a place of luck nitakuwa nikiita wilderness kwa hivyo ukisikia nikisema wilderness si maanishi a place ama si maanishi a desert na na maanisha a place in your life personally maybe kuna mtu wilderness yake saizi iko kwa nyumba kuna mtu wilderness yake saizi ni financial struggles kuna mtu wilderness yake saizi ni sickness and so swali ni how do you behave ukiwa kwa wilderness hiyo ndo swali sasa tuko nayo na tunafaa tukiwa tukijiuliza na nataka pia huko ukijiuliza kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa nasoma this scripture nilikuwa pia najiuliza hivyo how do i behave while in the wilderness na wakati mtu anakosa kitu kama hujai notice kuna vitu mbili ziu rise up anga huwa inakuwa high na desperation pia na kuanga hai. Sijui kama umejipata ukikasirika, unajiuliza mbona umekasirika, lakini ukikuja ku realize ni either pesa hauna, unajua ni notice pesa who affect mood ya mtu. Kosa pesa utakasirikia mtu bure. Unajua mbona hata ukijiuliza mbona unakasirika ujui. Lakini pata pesa unakuanga friendly to everyone, una feel uko blessed all the time. But the main reason ni kwa sababu pesa iko kuna mtu alisema pesa siku hizi uh, ni Panadol ama mara moja ukiona tu pesa hivi kitu ilikuwa ya kusumbua instant inaisha na in the book of uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 10:19 inasema that money is the answer to every solution another thing unaweza kasirika bure ni njaa wakati nilikuwa fasting na nimetoka class nikitembea tu town nilikuwa mood zika change to a point that naanza kujiambia mtu sasa hizi akiza tu ni gonga hivi mabega zile vitu naweza mfanya na niko fasting nikaanza kujiuliza mbona nimeanza kuongea those kinds of things nika notice ni njaa inanisumbua so wakati uko in the moment of luck hizo ni examples mbili kuna v- 
very many things in as a lead to anger ama desperation wakati uko in lack kama hauko careful uta entertain anger kama hauko careful uta entertain ku compromise na compromise inakuja na nini desperation bwana asifiwe watu wengi wali give up on god kwa sababu life iliwagonga na wakona god is not working so kwa sababu wako in that desperate state anything that ilikuwa in a sound as an opportunity wana accept why kwa sababu huyu mtu alikuwa desperate bwana asifiwe najua naweza shindwa huyu mtu tumemzoea kuona akiomba tumemzoea um, kuona aki lead praise worship ama na preach then munasikia something ili happen most likely uki focus on the story kenye inakwanga ime happen that person was in a desperate state na alishindwa ku overcome kwa kazi kwa sababu nafanyanga huko narrowcline kuna kitu niliobserve na kuna something different nili note wakati kuna uh, ndasema je wakati kuna market ama wakati kuna holiday hizi ma festive season drivers wanakuanga okay wanabebanga tu wakienda wanabeba tu waki, hakuna stress but wakati kumekauka kwa sababu kwa kila job if you own a business ama uko employed unajuanga hii season kumekauka ama hii season kutakuwa poa and so wakati kumekauka unaonanga mpaka wanaanzia kubishana eh hey, wewe umeniruka sijui nini 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 bla 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 and so one time walikuwa wanabishana and one person akaniambia the reason bona wana conflict ni kwa sababu hakuna anything ina happen and these people are desperate to make money so what will happen kutaanzia kukuwa na hiyo conflict na hivyo ni nakuanga wakati tuko in a desperate ama tuko in a place of lack ukitaka kujua mtu anajipenda tukiweza fungiwa kwa hii kanisa for one week sisi wote tu hapa tufungiwe for one week alafu sunday maji kuje maji chupa tu moja yeko hapa i am so sure amtasema apostle chukua maji kwanza niko so so it is in the human nature na jose si unasema ah malcolm ni uongo but iko in the human nature one thing about human nature focus inakuanga about himself ama herself bwana asifiwe and so unapata ukiwa in a desperate state ama in a place of lack utaanzia kufanya things kwa sababu ya you are own sick but you know that thus for david for god wakati ako in the wilderness instead of doing something for himself which is kutafuta maji ama kukomplainia mungu mbona hakuna maji anaanzia ku meditate of the goodness of god bwana asifiwe na kwa wilderness hakuna anga hope hiyo ndio hiyo ndio kitu tunaanga in the wilderness there is no hope In the book of Genesis 8 verse 16 the Bible inasema and Haga akaacha mtoto wake Ishmael kwa sababu alikuwa anaona there is no hope so ameacha mtoto wake akufe kwa sababu there is nothing to drink nothing to eat and so that was the point Haga alikuwa amefika na that was a mother one thing tunajua about mothers they never give up on their children but no affected to that point aliona there is no hope of fighting for this child kwa sababu what comes next is death na akakubaliana nayo but tunaona kuna a shift in a happen instead of ishmael akufe kwa sababu ya kiu na njaa ishmael anakuwa made a nation in fact up under the beginning of arabs ilianzia kukuja kwa sababu now wakati alikuwa set in the wilderness Mungu akasema and in that place blessings itaanza ku overflow na ndio maana unashindwa una how in the heaven saw watu wanakuanga in the wilderness but they still prosper Hatu kunyesha kwao ni miracle acha huku venye mvua imekaa miezi kadhaa tunateta Hatu kunyesha kwao ni miracle in fact mvua yao ingine ni avumbi 
si ni one time to make experience hiyo mvua yao ni ya vumbi but napata god can transform that situation yes uko in the wilderness but mungu mwenyewe anaweza transform and so to cure kwa wilderness what najipata tuna complain tukiwa kwa wilderness kitu kingine na kuanga affected ni our spiritual lives unaweza pata wakati uko in the wilderness you are spiritual life a good example ukikuwa mgonjo saizi kuna haya chances za utakuwa ukijiombea kwa sababu gani it takes strength to pray ukweli ama uongo it takes strength to pray si kama mnaanga leader akilead aki, aki, aki maombi tulikuwa tunalidiwa na wa brother elfas sio kitu rahisi kuambia watu fanyeni hivi na yeye pia kuomba it's never an easy thing na ndo unapata anga akitoka hapa sauti yake already imescratchiwa kidogo so it's never an easy thing but unapata wakati physically umekuwa affected pia your spiritual life inakuwa affected wakati emotionally uko affected pia your physical life iko affected so wakati area yako moja iko in the wilderness in affecting the whole different chapters bwana asifiwe na so tunafaa tukua like job job after ku lose everything the bible nasema in the book of job 120 after he received all this news yes ali rarua nguo but there's something else in a happen akasema the bible nasema and he worshiped god so the thing about us ni when wilderness comes into our lives worship becomes real ukweli ama uongo but complain you kuwa high so kuna an impact wakati uko in the wilderness and you decide fast to focus on god na hiyo impact ni gani wakati wilderness imekuja into your life na you decide to apply worship fast kumaanisha worship simanishi sorry simanishi ati uimbe worship inakujanga in different ways una decide that right now i'm not in a good state but i trust my god is going to work things out ukiweza kuimba it's okay kuna one singer alisema even if it hurts i will still praise kwa sababu when you embrace worship when you embrace praise as the first tactic ya kukonka what is happening in the wilderness uta kill complaints na ukikill complaints ume kill worry na ukikill worry ume kill fear bwana asifiwe kwa sababu hivyo ndo huwa ina manifest so david ako in the wilderness na instead a focus on how my body will receive water anaanza ku focus on how his spirit will receive god na ndo maana anasema as long as i live i will still bless him kwa sababu my trust is in the lord lakini si shida ikikuja wanasemanga as long as i live ama wanasemanga kimeumana bwana asifiwe train yourself kukuwa calm in the wilderness lazima ujifunze kukuwa calm As I speak right now not everyone is calm. Mmeka tu chini but hakuna unaweza pata hata 80% of us hatuko calm. Sasa hizi akili yetu venye zinagongana zile storms ziko kwa akili yetu tu. Yaani umeka chini umeniangalia hivi lakini zile vitu zinagonga kwa akili. Unajua nikiongelea kukuwa calm nadhani ni physically. Mmeka vizuri but akili zenu sasa hizi if Mungu tu akisema ana project akili ya kila mtu hapa rava nyetu na projecting hivi kwa tv akuje tu ame kufanya tu kwanza kwa videographer wetu hapa tu afanye tu hivyo kila kitu ja mnaweza shindo huyu mtu ako kwa kamera lakini zile vitu ziko kwa akili baba wajiuliza huyu mtu ako hapa kweli na nasemi hako hiyo example but in the wilderness lazima tujifunze kukuwa calm na hapo ndo worship inaingililia hapo ndo yes unajua like right now i don't have this 
but unaenda tu kwa Mungu na I thank you because you have provided. Una in acting one thing about uh, Nandomana the people of the world will never understand. What we do is insane. What we do is crazy. Ajua kuna kitu fanye tu mtu akwambia unaambia mtu um, we need 2 million kuweka slab kwa hii church. The first thing kanisa tunasemanga aje tutaomba na tutaamini Mungu. Sio ni kwanga kwa hiyo kitu haimaking sense. Wacha nisi wadanganye. Hiyo kitu doesn't make sense. <laughs> Bwana sifiwe. It never makes sense ni wenye tuweza ngi kusema haimaking sense but we know the uprightness of God it's the upside down world in the kingdom of this earth. So wakati tunasema we are praying and believing mtu wako like here how makes sense mnaform wende kazi mtafute hiyo pesa na mlete and it's okay tunafaa tu tufanye kazi tutafute hiyo pesa na tulete but huwa tunafanya aje before we focus on what brings the money na for who brings the money Bwana sifizika tunaelewana vizuri and so david ako like my body needs water but my focus will be on who makes the water available na kuombea maji bwana asifiwe his for praise in fact no man sema psalm 63 in a sound like david is okay but he is not okay but i decide let me meditate on the goodness akisema in the night i'm sleeping watching the stars huyo mtu ni nje analala bwana sifiwe you can understand akisema vitu kama hizi at in the night before i sleep i gaze at the stars inamaanisha aje huyo mtu ako nje na akiwa ame face amelala nje what is there kuna nyoka wilderness kuna scorpion kuna all the animals but instead ya aseme god i don't know what is going to happen while i sleep you can tamka na spirit peke ama tamka na flesh pia but anasema before i sleep i gaze at the stars um mtu anaanzia kufanto na Mungu in a place where haufai kufanto that is the life we should embrace as children of God Bwana asifiwe But why is the spirit failing in the church Kwa sababu wakati uko in the wilderness the thirst for God in Aisha Tuko in the church now at the task for God in Aisha we will focus more on doctrines rather than spiritual matters. Wakati task for God in Aisha utakuwa unakuja just to be there. But wakati uko task for God uko like I need to know how I should come before my father. I need to know how most of us tunapeananga offerings for the sake ni juni was ni saya sadaka so wacha nipatie ni offering na story na ishia hapo but wakati uko na thirst for Mungu the way you will be giving that offering any amount Mungu atakuwa like this person I'm blessed Bwana asifiwe tuweze kuinuka kwa miguu yetu Na nitamalizia na kusema nothing can stop you from having an intimate ama a strong relationship with God nothing can stop us bwana asifiwe nothing can stop us right now when you are in the mood of praise and worship nothing can stop us whether uko kwa wilderness whether uko kwa palace whether uko hapo katikati uko kwa wilderness kidogo kidogo unajua kuna wakati unaweza kuwa na 200000 the next day uko na 200 bob unashindwa Kulienda aje kuna one time nimeanga transaction zangu na nikaangalia account yangu ya bank nikasema ai hapa hata KRA wakiazamua kunifuata wanaweza ni misjudge lakini unapata umefanya a lot of things so uko okay at this moment uko not okay at that moment whether uko in the wilderness or not learn kukua thirsty for god Land could charge your heart with praise and worship. 
learn to charge your heart with the word of god when people wakati macho inakuonyesha things are not okay unakuwa tu hapo unaangalia mungu unasema i thank you because you can make a way in the sea unamwambia i thank you because you can calm the storm i thank you because even we can walk together on water kwa sababu uko like i know that my god is going to fix these things now when that happens in your life itakuwa different ambie mwenzako itakuwa different Alafu muulize unataka kukuwa different. Amwambie do something unique. Tupigie Bwana Yesu makofi mazuri.